We've got now joining us former Louisiana Senator and Senior Policy Advisor at, at Van Ness Feldman. Mary Landrieu joins us now. Senator, how are the people of your home state doing this morning? Well, it's tough, as you can see from that excellent report that Jeff just did, and he hit the nail on the head. That is exactly what people want to hear, is what the federal government can do, what the state and local governments can do. They recognize they've got to do for themselves as well, and of course, nonprofits and churches and charities will step up. But it's a real partnership between the individuals, their community, and the government to get this uh, fixed and done and to get people back in their homes. I think the other thing, Sandra, is this is so widespread. I mean, it goes from Ascension Parish, basically, uh, all the way to the west to uh, Lafayette and Vermilion Parish mm -hmm. and New Iberia. So it's not just located in one city. It's spread over many counties. We call them parishes. Uh, and I hope the president will get a sense of the scale of the disaster uh, today when he visits. And yeah, and of course you're, you're referencing that visit he will be making to Louisiana today. The timing has been questioned, Senator. Uh, this, his visit coming 10 days after the flooding actually happened and five days after Donald Trump, the Republican nominee, put himself on the ground there in Baton Rouge. Uh, uh, it, it, what do you make of the fact that Donald Trump was on the ground there before the president? Is that, is that important? Well, first of all, the flooding wasn't a one-day event. The, the waters actually just went down a day or two ago. The flooding happened all last week, mm -hmm. I know, because I was there for part of it. And so you don't want to have a presidential visit for sure in the middle of water rising and the rescue operation. So I think Governor Edwards was right to reach out and ask the president to come. This is a good time with the water going down. You can access a lot of areas. I thank Donald Trump for coming and anything that can bring... Uh, you know, uh, mm -hmm. uh, attention to our state. But you need to do more than come. He made a contribution, which was wonderful. And most importantly, people want to hear from him, from the president, and from Secretary Clinton what they can do to make the situation even better. I left a much better FEMA than the one that we inherited for Katrina. Part of my legacy was building a better FEMA, and I think mm -hmm. that I accomplished that with a lot of help. But still, it's probably, it's not enough. A lot of people don't have insurance. Yeah, the, it, Schools that, were flooded. You know, it, they don't have insurance. Issue. Yeah. And I think the actual and they count in the on, flood zone. the actual count on the uninsured is going to be a, a tough one to tally and one that I don't think we'll have an official number on for quite some time. We've been asking officials down there. Uh, but meanwhile, you said you would like to see Secretary Clinton, the Democratic nominee, uh, visit as well. She is not scheduled a visit as of today uh, to the region. And uh, her campaign has released this statement on the flooding, quote, I am committed to visiting communities affected by these floods at a time when the presence of a political campaign will not disrupt the response to discuss how we can and will rebuild together. Senator, do you think Hillary Clinton is making a mistake? by delaying her visit down there. No, I think the timing is very important, and I'm sure she'll come. I mean, she was a real leader in the rebuilding of uh, Superstorm Sandy, I know, because I served with her in the Senate, and she took a front uh, point of the spear kind of uh, position to help do that. Um, and, you know, and with Chuck Schumer and Kristen Gillibrand, and, you know, they really stood up. And so... I know she'll be there when she can, and, but most importantly, it's what she does as president. Can we improve our flood insurance program? Can we get money on the ground sooner? Well, can we uh, work better with nonprofits? Senator, I, know, I, I, I think you and I have discussed this before. I know this area very well. I'm a graduate of Louisiana State University. I lived in Baton Rouge very many years. I'm in touch with people down there today. They say the more that we can get these officials to come visit us, the better. And sooner is better. We need attention on us. It increases funding and donations. The time is now. And if Hillary Clinton wants to do good for that community and for the people down there, don't you think that she could bring that necessary attention there now? I mean, later, would it be too late if she goes a week from now or a month from now? <laughs> Well, it's not going to be a month, and it shouldn't be. But as you know, if you're from Louisiana, these recovery efforts last decades. I mean, we hope this doesn't last decades. We're still recovering from Katrina, and that was over 10 years ago. Now, hopefully this, this will be quicker. It's, it's, it's terrible, but it's not the same scale as Katrina. But yes, absolutely. But again, the most important thing is to get FEMA money to people, 
get help for them and and to organize strategically. I think the governor, from what I've heard, is doing an excellent job from all quarters. Craig Fugate was on the ground. Secretary of Homeland Security Jay, Jay Bush, who I talked mm -hmm. with, Jeb. I'm, I'm sorry, Jay Bush. Jeb, Jay Johnson, who I spoke with, um, uh, you know, at length, is on top of it. So. And then the congressional delegation. Steve Scalise is a ranking member on the Republican side, and I hope that he'll bring a delegation of leaders yeah. from the House as well as from the Senate. And those businesses that we think about, 73,000 is the number of employees of businesses located in these flooded areas. As you said, this is, this is a recovery effort that will take years, if not decades. Uh, Senator Mary Landry, thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you. Good